things to keep in mind when you're booking a cheap vendor. Hey everyone, welcome to Wedding Tips by Joe. My name is Joe, I'm the creative director for Orange Flow, and today we're gonna talk about some things to keep in mind when booking cheaper vendors. Number one, the less you pay for a vendor, the lower quality service you're going to receive. It's honestly just comes down to simple math. If I'm a videographer, I'm charging $1,000 per wedding, I wanna make $50,000 per year, I have to book 50 weddings a year, which means basically every single week I have another wedding I'm filming, and every single week I have another video I have to edit. That is exhausting. That is a lot of work to do. However, if I'm charging $5,000 per wedding, I only need to book 10 weddings per year, which means I can spend a lot more time and effort. I have more attention to detail. And I'm going to make a much better product. When it comes to venues, the less you pay, the less they're going to provide. Photographers, videographers, maybe they're cheap because they outsource all their editing. They're not even making your final product. They're just outsourcing it to some random company online for really cheap. There's a reason they charge a lower price. Just because someone has their own business does not mean they understand how business works. Well, a lot of vendors undercharge, a lot of vendors don't understand things they need to be doing to protect their clients and they're not offering a good enough product to charge more or they don't understand how to run a successful business so they're undercharging, so they're overworking themselves. There's a higher chance they're not gonna show up because they're super stressed out or maybe they accidentally booked two weddings on the same day or maybe they purposely booked two weddings on the same day because they really need money. So anytime there's super deep discounts or someone's really cheap, there's going to be more concerns. Now with all that being said, said, price is not the only indicator of quality. You could find a $5,000 photographer who is not worth $5,000, and you could find a $500 DJ that should be charging four times as much. Some vendors, they're just making a lower quality product because they want to serve lower budget brides, and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We did a video series talking about five things every vendor should have. I would encourage you to look at that because there are cheap vendors who check all those boxes and who are really safe and legitimate. It's just you're getting a lower quality product or service. Just because someone's cheap doesn't mean they're bad, but you need to be aware of what you're getting yourself into. You need to make sure this person's reliable and you have correct expectations for the service that you're going to be provided. So that's all we got for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.